bracing for an influx of migrants. Also, the fight against fentanyl, the feds announce a massive drug bust that spans over three continents. But California lawmakers take a pass on tougher penalties. And we are about an hour away from the Lakers conference semifinals. Mario Solis live from the Chase Center in San Francisco for us. This is NBC4 News at 6. Good evening, everyone. I'm Carolyn Johnson. And I'm Colleen Williams. NBC4's Alex Rozier is live right now in Koreatown with the very latest for us. Alex. Yeah, this is a very complex investigation that involves several people and a couple of different scenes. It all started here with an assault at this metro station in Koreatown at Vermont and Beverly, and it ended with a shooting just down the block in East Hollywood. And minutes ago, we obtained video of that shooting. Witness video shot in a nearby apartment shows officers trying to arrest the assault and stabbing suspect, but police say the suspect pulled a knife on them, so they shot him. We froze the video as officers fired. That was the end of this incident, but this is how it started. Police say at 10.20 this morning, a man assaulted a woman just off the train in the metro station at Vermont and Beverly. An onlooker stepped in and the suspect fled. But police say once the assault suspect got to the street, he stabbed a man at the street level. That's when police showed up and eventually shot him. Yuri recorded this video of the shooting. When uh, cops came here, uh, came closer, he catched a knife again and tried to uh, run away. And in this moment, cops um, asked them again a couple of times, and then they, they were shooting. Police say they have three victims, the woman who was assaulted, the man who stepped in to help, and the stabbing victim. Yeah, Police say the woman who was assaulted transported done. herself to the hospital. They don't know about her injuries. They're still trying to get in touch with her. The man who stepped in to help her was not injured. And the stabbing victim is stable at the hospital. The suspect is also stable after he was shot by police. But this assault at the train station marks the latest violent incident involving Metro. This month alone, there have been several violent crimes at L.A. County train stations. We asked Metro about passenger safety concerns. Safety is our number one priority at Metro. We're aware of the current uh, incidents that have taken place, and we are redoubling our efforts to make the system safe for our customers. But as Metro works to fix their problems, police are still investigating the incident today. An assault, a stabbing, and shooting. And as you look live at the metro station where this all started, we still don't know the name of the suspect, and we don't know the relationship between the suspect and the victims. We're going to be continuing to press the police for answers on that, but we're also going to be asking questions more on these challenges. Alex Rosier. This is at the U.S.-Mexico the San Diego border at the San Isidro port of entry. You can see groups of migrants just sitting on the other side of the border wall. Today, the Pentagon announced it will deploy 1,500 troops to the U.S.-Mexico border to deal with an expected migrant surge ahead of next week's expiration of Title 42. The deployment is for 90 days to support law enforcement and customs officials. Title 42 allowed migrants to be quickly expelled at the border during the pandemic. And, of course, that expires May 11th. We have new details tonight on the two stabbings that happened outside Los Angeles High School. It all started in front of the school. Both of those young people are expected to be okay. The suspects include two teenage boys, ages 14 and 17, who are not L.A. High students. Both were detained and released. One other person, though, is still in custody. The LAPD tells us the violence was the result of some type of on-campus dispute. Police patrols on and around the campus will continue for the rest of the week. We're learning more about the pilot of a plane that crashed near Big Bear Airport on Monday. Kate Siebel says her husband, Stormy, flew his plane from French Valley Airport in Murrieta with a friend. They then picked up another friend at Corona Municipal Airport so all three of them could fly to Big Bear to look at a plane that was for sale. That plane crashed about a quarter of a mile away from the airport and tragically all three were killed. Unreal to me that this has happened. And and I just feel so bad for those other families. Nobody, nobody saw this coming. Nobody would ever have thought this. Investigators now say it could take weeks, perhaps even months, before.